Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. And uh, today we're going to be testing Splash Paints, uh, their color shift line. Um, they call them chameleons for the most part. And um, I had a couple more, but they're discontinued. I believe they're hard to find, so they're not included in the test. I checked the website, all these are still on there. And um, let me show you what we got first before I go on here uh, red, yellow, green, torch, chameleon apply over black base it says it right on the front that's the only one that says that by the way uh, alien green chameleon actually yeah let's show you the bottom here all right back up alien green chameleon that's nice now we just got straight up blue blue chameleon this looks like some of the colors I used on the cars it was a mustang cobra this color and i also think um, a Nissan GTR R34 maybe was it the R34 one of them had this uh, special paint it wasn't cheap either matter of fact if you find the car and uh, the actual car today with that color it's worth literally thousands and thousands tens of thousands more money because that paint job is on it uh, chameleon blue, uh, green can't see the green there oh there it is kind of an aqua green and this is one of my earlier colors from the company Ultra Chameleon. It tells you right here, red, yellow, brown. Looks close to the torch, right? Oh yeah, kind of close. Eh, we will see. Uh, these are pre-thinned. They go straight into the airbrush. Um, their paints all dry matte, like an actual car paint, a urethane, or other, uh, the paint you've seen me paint. Um, they dry flat, and then uh, they need a clear coat, uh, which I did here. This test is actually coming up. This went on flat, and then I just glossed over it with some 2K. And this is the job you get when you're done. So, uh, yeah, that full test on their car colors is coming up. Um, actually, I'll show you my lineup here. Don't make it get, mean to get you guys a little dizzy. But this row, you see my finger going across. That's where the ones we're testing now were pulled off. And it goes all the way across. This is all of their car colors. It's the blues. I got them kind of separated. Reds all the way down here. It's all theirs. Plus, I have some new colors that are on the bench behind me. Oops, I'm going down one. There we go. So all that is splash paint. The early ones here are uh, Mecca colors here. These are their Meccas. And this is their regular car lineup. Not the most exciting labels in the world. But it gets the job done. These, some of these are actual car colored numbers that match the actual vehicle, you know, Lamborghini green and whatever. So it's it's uh, it's pretty nice. So let me take you guys back here. What I'll get in you dizzy. Look at this. All my all clads. I've shown you all this in some previous videos. Here we are. All right. Back to uh, the non dizzy bench here. Okay. So I had. A few others that I thought were chameleon shift paints. They're not. This is their Prism series. See it? Prism Blue Glitter. Prism Sparkle Silk. And Prism Series Bronze Shatter. Now, when I saw this, I thought, look at that. I thought this was a color shift. And I started behind the scenes um, testing them. And this is this paint. And it's not. It's just a nice, they call it a prism. I think it's just because it has more sparkle to it, I'm guessing. But uh, this color also has the clear over it. This is the KBS Diamond Clear. And um, that's what I ended up with. So I, I knew when I saw this, there was no shifting involved. It was a separate series, and that's what these are. Matter of fact, I have some more of these on order. There's a few more colors on the lineup, some reds and whatnot. So that'll be a separate test. So we will put this aside. All right. Now, it doesn't matter if it's on a gloss black base or a flat black base. I checked both behind the scenes. It did not matter because it dries matte anyway. So, I took this, one of my favorites. I think it's actually won the shootout of uh, the primer test, the spray can primer test I did almost, almost two years ago. Uh, I love this stuff, the 1500. It's just if you want to put a black layer down. You don't need any sanding or filling up any cracks or any scratches. And this is what you get, a beautiful, smooth finish. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to spray 
each one of these over this and we're going to take one color I'm going to I think I'm going to do the green and we're going to spray this 71 Firebird now this is a 132nd Firebird hold on from Atlantis Models an American company all right route 32 that means it was uh, it's a 132nd scale it even has the engine in it and everything so but anyway it's a nice little size for testing these paints out I went ahead and sprayed it off camera with that spray and a beautiful nice even finish look at that I glued on the front bumper in the back and I glued the hood on for the test so there we go we'll spray that whole thing with the green all right and uh, highly recommend this holder this uh, to me a holder for car kits you can adjust the spring tension to based on the size this one I reduced it because it's actually it's a smaller car 132nd and, uh, and then you got little springs here it's got it's on ball bearing turntable all right we'll squeeze this together and put it inside see that and then you can spin it while you're uh, painting it and when you want to get the base you can actually pop this off and get underneath it even comes with more pieces like comes with a stand so it sits even higher up in your spray booth like 20 bucks one of the greater uh, inventions that I use in the room quite often particularly with my car kits all right guys now for the test we're going to be trying uh, we'll use two airbrushes I think we're going to use the Grex and the uh, Pro Comboy from GSI that's the 0.3 uh, millimeter needle and um, they recommend a high air pressure I looked them up and they recommend a 25 to 30 psi which uh, is pretty high so um, we will follow that I'm gonna put it around 25 and we'll, we will follow that uh, guideline. We're going to let them dry. I'll show you them before they get the gloss to show you how dull and matte they get. And then we'll do it before and after with that, you know. Um, but anyway, they don't need thinning. We're just going to shake them up. Actually, yeah, I'll show you. Man, this thing is heavy. All right. They come with a ball bearing, I think. Yeah, they all have a ball bearing in them. You can see once they're shaken, you can see the water level, the paint level. See it? It's fully shaken up. Now, when you go to put it in your airbrush, um, I wouldn't pour it. I would use a pipette and go right to the bottom, squeeze and get from the bottom up because these metal flakes really sink really quick. So uh, shake it right away, go right in for the kill egg, right in the bottom, and put some in the cup. Now, I think we're going to need quite a bit to do the car. Um, we shall see. The Grex pushes a lot of paint, so I think I'll do the car with the Grex. And uh, see a theme here. This is green hair. We got some green hair. Well, actually, this is a day glow uh, on my Braun F1 racing uh, astray there. But let's get this out of the way. This heavy monstrosity. I use that thing every day. All right, guys. So let's go spray some spoons. Let's get this car painted, and we'll see how nice these chameleon paints really are. We'll meet you at the booth. Alright guys, here we are at the Pace Spray Booth. Here's my magnetic airbrush holder made by GSI Creos. Alright, I put it over here because the hose wouldn't let me bring it in, so I detached it. So I'm just going to show you how we are going to go straight into this. Right into the bottom. Like that. And I don't think we'll need much. We'll leave this here in case I need, but I'm only going to do the one spoon until we get to the car. So let's go ahead and check this color shift paint out quick release right here uh, coming up is a full walkthrough on airbrushing I'm going to be doing that probably the next video after this step by step beginning to end all right here we go all right where are we here yep 25 looks like 25 psi It's really pushing the paint out fast, but that's what they recommend, so that's what we're going with. Alright, we're going to go in and get the wet coat. And then we go across slow. Alright. There we go. Oh, already looking nice. Look at that. What is this one? Red, yellow, green, torch, chameleon. Look at that. 
All right. All right, let this dry. We'll do another color. I'll show you what these look like when they're cured so you can see how flat they get. Let me clean out the airbrush and come right back. All right, next up is Alien Green Chameleon. All right, let's see what we got. There's our base. You see a little bit there. My technique of laying down the first layer quick. All right. I'm going to go across a little slower, get that wet look. Oh, again. Oh, that looks good. Looks good on camera. Wow. That is about it. Wow, this is beautiful. There we go. Look at that. That is a great color. Wow, that's awesome. All right, we'll let that dry. Let me clean this out. And uh, I clean this out with a shot of lacquer and then a shot of acetone. Cleans right out. It's almost translucent. Very easy to clean. All right, next up. Chameleon Blue. In the cup. Oh, it's good looking. Let's see what we got. Go across quick. Get a nice dry base. Oh, this one's dark. Wow, that's going to be nice. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, this is... Uh, like that black of this one there that's on the SMS look at that that is a great color that is definitely the color that's on the the Nissan GTR or at least close to it anyway I don't think it needs any more I think I'm done wow that looks great all right we'll let that dry all right on to the car we'll do the car with the, the next one let me clean this out all right next up is the Firebird I've loaded up the Grex. This is going to push a, quite a bit of paint, so I might have to refill the cup. Let's see what we get. Looks like nothing's going on now. Just giving it a quick coat like I would the spoon. This brush is comfortable. Nope. I can see the color starting to come in. You see it? All right, I'm going to start loading her up. Coming in a little closer. This is going to take a couple of rounds of this. Sorry, the microphone, I'm not sure where it is here. Don't want to block my voice off. Oh, this is, oh, this is really nice. That primer is awesome, too. I think we're getting there. All right. All right, I'm going to go in for the glossy coat. Here we go. And it's glossy to us now, but then it dries matte, you know. That's what I mean. There we go. You see it now. It's actually a good color for this muscle car. Wow, looks great. I don't want to run out. Let me put a little more on the airbrush, guys. Hold on one second. There we go. Hmm. 
Look at that. Wow, looks great. All right, let's go in here. And here we go. Just back it down a little bit when you want to get to that wet coat. A little, meaning, you know, the speed at which you're going to go across the car, you know. And this is like a flat black. It, it, it's just going to dry perfect every time, you know. It's meant to dry like that. I think we're looking good. Yeah, it looks really good. All right. Look at that. All right, we'll let this dry. I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry, then I'll show you we're going to put the gloss on top. All right? Let me go bring this into the dehydrator. Let it dry, and I'll come back, and uh, we'll put the gloss over all of them, the spoons and the car. All right, here we go. Let's put the clear coat over these babies. Here is the clear. I used KBS Diamond Clear Gloss. And for this, I'm using my uh, Badger Patriot. A little easier to clean out this gloss. It's a... Uh, more beefier needle, which is good for clears. Here we go. All right, I'm doing the same idea with the quick go across, but with this stuff you can go in right away after one quick coat. So let's go ahead and get the wet look. Here we go. Oh, sorry guys, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's matte. Yeah. Actually a pretty cool look, right? This is the green over uh, gray. That's why I did that. I want to see what it looked like over a different base. But there you are. That's them before they get glossed up. All right, let's go. go beautiful wow looks great this is alien just like my regular technique get a little quick coating on that in fact we'll do the one over the gray quick too all right I'll go back and hit it with the wet coat slower and closer How's that? Looky that. We'll go over it at the bench. And we'll go over the color shifts. Actually, at the booth, it has better lighting for the color shifts here for some reason. All right, that already had its first layer. What am I doing? Let's go. All right. Now, I'm going to go get the car, which is in the dehydrator, and we'll gloss that baby. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. I got the car. I'm going to hit it with my anti-static brush first. This is by Tamiya. Nice little gadget to have. Particularly for car kits. All right, let me put that down. All right, let's go to town here. Here we go. I'm going to fill this up. A little more clear so I don't have to stop while I'm spraying. There we go. All right, let's do it. There it is from the dehydrator. Just getting a quick layer on. go all right here we go a little closer the next one will be uh, the wet level the wet layer all right all right, here we go. Just 
just going to go across much slower. Particularly on a body like this, it's a broad stroke. But you're going to see how it's going to bring the color out, the gloss. Look at that. Ready? Say it. Excellent. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see it. Very forgiving, this clear and the 2K clear. Very forgiving. You look like an expert with this stuff. All right, we're looking good. Let's go across the front here. All right, hard to shift my fingers here. So got plenty in there. We're looking good. I can see where it's dry. Good lighting in the booth helps a lot. All right, here we go again. Slow across the front. I mean the side. Got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Looky there. We're looking good, guys. All right. Let's have this dry. We'll go over the results. Look at that. Fantastic. Clean out the brush right away when using these clears. You've got to clean it out fast. I'm, I'm going to go do that now. All right, guys. We're going to use the booth here for the uh, comparison. Hold on one second. Let me get a piece of cardboard. There we go. I blocked that off so you can kind of get a good contrast here. All right, let's do it. Now, this one I did off camera when I was testing it. This is the Ultra Chameleon, and that is right here. Let's see what it says these colors are. Red, yellow, brown. All right. Really nice. Looks great with the clear. All right, that's red brown. All right, alien green. Here we go. Oh yeah, it turns darker green up here. I do it here because the lighting seems to be really good for this color shifts at my booth. Look at that. Now I did it over a light gray. Let me show you what I painted it over. A gray. See, I did it over a gray primer. And that's this. So you get kind of a faded look. Actually, it's kind of cool though. You're not going to get as much of a shift look, though. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Blue. Here's the blue. Looks more purple to me, but that's all right. Violet. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Did that stuff go on nice. That clear is great. That KBS Diamond Clear. I'll put a link below for the clear, too. I did a whole video on it. Look at that. But then you come over here, you get the shifting. Look at that. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Torch Chameleon. Here we go. Oh, it looks like the other one kind of, doesn't it? Let's see. Yeah, these are close. Yeah, you just pick one. Maybe they rebranded it. They might have rebranded it because, look, it's an older label and a newer label. Red, yellow, brown, red, yellow, green. All right, so there's two different colors in the base, it, what it looks like. But it looks too similar here for me. So if you like this, whatever one is in stock is the one you grab because they're just too close. But anyway, that's Torch Chameleon. Really nice. And, uh, oh, I forgot. The last one is the green. Just says chameleon green. I'm not sure where that comes in green, but I guess it's right there when the light hits it a certain way. Yeah, it's got to be it. But this is our Firebird. 
check that. There's the green. There we go. Trying to turn it so we can see all the... It's turning up here. Actually, it's pretty green here in person. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I'm seeing it as green here. It's coming across yellow in the camera. I can see it. You can kind of see the green here. Right, guys? Can you see it there? This has a lot of color. It's got the violet here, the tealish color green there. Then it turns this gold on top. Wow, a lot of colors in this one. Look at that. There's the green. The shadowing of the spoiler helps. Wow, look at that. Wow, that's awesome. All right. Uh, all right, guys. Meet me back at the bench, and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, here we are at the bench, and there it is, the results. They're not quite as dramatic here in the color shifting, but, uh, boy, these are beautiful, you know. Here's the alien green. Look at that. And these are durable um, over the acrylics because uh, they're lacquers. They go on really good, and uh, they're pretty durable. Here's the blue. So it doesn't shift as much on my bench. I don't know why. Anyway. Uh, the car came out beautiful. There's the green. All right. Look at that. There's the green. <laughs> well, I guess this is what it looks like. If, if this was sitting in the driveway under just regular lighting, this is what you would get. Wow. Anyway, that's them, guys. I'll put a link below. Splash uh, is located here in the U.S. Um, great paints. I'll be doing, as I showed you on the wall, I'll be doing a test of their... Uh, car colors we'll get another car kit like this or like the mercedes that we did and uh we'll test out we'll pick a nice color and test out um one of my kits not even one for the just to test for the channel one i'm actually going to build so i'll pick a color that uh specifically i want to do probably one of my porsches and whatnot um anyway there you go guys that is all i'll put links to everything below this little stand by Tamiya, which is awesome. This is also their anti-static brush that I brush on before I paint. And then uh, it also has one to get in the grooves. See it? Built into the handle. So, uh, yeah, I'll put, a, I'll put a link to that below. Now, I didn't do the uh, prism paints, um, but I have some more colors of the prism line coming in. So I'll, when I get all of those, we'll go ahead and do that test. And uh, for the base, I used this Mr. Hobby Finishing Surfacer 1500. Now, for the clear, I use my Patriot. You need a bigger, the bigger needle. The Patriot is a, I think it's just over a 0.5 millimeter, which is great for clears. So I did that for that. But then uh, these colors work great on a 0.3. I did the car. Obviously, you saw it with the Grex. Pushes a little more paint, which is good for the car body. And uh, these, I think, are still currently on sale under 100 bucks. I think, on uh, Amazon. I'll put the link below for both airbrushes. Well, all three, actually. And um, I'll put a link for the Tamiya stand. And also the dust brush. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around. Please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. More, many more videos to come. Tons of tests coming up. And um, I just get in some new paints from SMS. I'm excited to test those. Those just came in literally today from Australia. So I'm pretty excited with that, too. Anyway, guys, God bless you all. Thank you. You guys are absolutely the best. Again, please subscribe if you haven't already. Try to get our numbers up there. And join my Patreon. I'll put the link below. Uh, it's cheap. It's only 4 bucks a month. And um, I answer your questions directly. If you want something answered on video, you want to see what a color looks like, I'll do that personal video for you directly on uh, Patreon. We can look at one or two colors if you want to see what this primer looks like with this color. That's the kind of questions I've been answering. And uh, it's been going well. You guys are great. Thanks for all my patrons. Anyway, guys, God bless. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. We'll see you in the next video.